When Natalie Gulbis made the cut at the LPGA's recent LA Open, it may have seemed unremarkable. But dig a little deeper, and it was actually a big turning point for the 35-year-old. In a career blighted by injury in the last few years, making a first cut since 2015 was a major step forward. She's just relieved to be pain-free again. Athletes get injured. Everybody has something that uh, they're going through. And since 2010, every event that I played, I just felt really fortunate. But not only to play golf, but just to be able to... I remember coming back here and being able to go to Bush Gardens or ride a roller coaster or play tennis or be able to play ping pong. Like, I couldn't do any of those things when I was injured. Nothing. Sit on a flight and not have pain, and I definitely wasn't playing golf for fun. My whole family plays golf, so just to even get to play golf with my mom and my husband and my friends, I wasn't able to do any of those things. She's considered retirement on numerous occasions, so to be back making cuts and competing on tour is clearly satisfying for Gulbis. Her long road to recovery has taken many twists and turns. In fact, you have to go back 12 years to get to the root of it all. So my first back injury, I think, was 2006, before I ever won a tournament. And of course, it runs alongside when I was playing my best golf. So for a couple years, I was young and was playing about 40 events a year, and I was struggling with my back. I got hurt. I got a stress fracture. I was using this swing aid and would swing it religiously because I was trying to hit the ball further and ended up getting hurt. Um, and like many athletes, I sugar-coated it and tried to play through pain and still was a knucklehead and played a lot and found myself in my first surgery. And then again, in 2007, again, I was playing great golf and won a tournament and was struggling with my back the entire time. I was practicing a ton and again, still had issues, had a, another surgery kind of got me through another year and by the end of 2009 my body was done. I was not able to practice, not able to walk upstairs, was definitely not playing golf and got to the fall and was talking to Butch Harmon, what am I going to do now? I'd like to play a couple events. I've had a great career, been able to go so many incredible places, played on three Solheim Cup teams, you know, won a tournament and was about 10 years on tour and just wanted to play maybe a couple events and just kind of say goodbye to the tour. Natalie was running out of options to not only play golf again, but just to enjoy a decent quality of life. She saw Lorena Ochoa retire at a similar age and assumed she'd have to follow suit. I had a surgery at Laser Spine Institute in Phoenix that saved my career as a similar surgery to Peter Jacobson. And then in 2010 or 11, I Whenever I had that, I came out and I felt great, really great. And so I played a lot again. And I, it was like a second, a second chance to come out and play. And I love golf and I love the game. And so to be able to come out and play without pain, and I had a really, really good time. Gulbis isn't alone. Her story is similar to that of another player returning from a serious back injury this year. The struggle of Tiger Woods to return to the tour has been well documented and Natalie's been tracking his progress with a very personal interest. I found a lot of inspiration watching Tiger. I mean, what his back is, I think it's way worse than mine. I haven't seen his scans, but just to see what he's been able to do, how much he's been able to play is really, really inspiring as somebody that's like, that's not only do I admire him as a golfer, but to see how he's moved past an injury, like a back surgery and a fusion is just incredible. And my goals are to win. I haven't won since I've had these back surgeries, and that's why I play. I love to compete. I love being out here, and I love everything. But if I can't compete and I can't have a chance to win, I'd rather play at home in the money game at my, at my golf club or play with my family. But I love to compete, and I love to prepare to compete, and I love the mental side of everything that goes on out here. So my goal is to win tournaments. That's it.